So, my name's Jeff Page, and I'm a C6, C7 quad, and I'm here today at the National Ability Center with Jared, and he's their head um, bike specialist. So what we're gonna be talking about is a Lasher full suspension hand cycle that we just modified so that it has power assist, it has um, wireless shifting. That's what this goofy thing on my neck is right here. That's my shifter, it shifts up and down and we're gonna go through the bike and just talk about some of the features and how much better it is for quads and others that don't have hands to be able to be able to ride hand cycles um, off-road. So Here we are, we're gonna start with the elbow brake system. So this is something that we put together and developed so that when you're riding a bike and you're a quad, your hands are tied to the pedals and you can't squeeze a brake. So this is set up so that an elbow breaks it. Just put your elbow in there and that gives you all three wheels get braked. And it's all adjustable so you can go up and down, in and out, back and forth, so you can adjust it for whatever person's in the hand cycle. Um, and then as we move forward to, to the um, power assist that we've put on it, TSDZ2 um, power assist and it's set up. Turn it on there for you so you can see. It's set up so that it works very well in this hand cycle. Whether you're a quad or an amputee or a para, um, this power assist makes your riding so much more fun. You can do so many more things and you don't get so tired. And then there's the battery on the back that powers it. Um, you could probably do on the road and me as a weak quad, I can get about 45 miles out of a battery. So off road, you could probably get about 30 and 30 miles on an off-road hand cycle is a lot of work, but with the power assist and with the shifting I've got set up in the brake, it makes it all fun and easy. Okay, so Jared's got the view from kind of where it'd be if you were sitting in the bike, and you can see the display unit, and this, this display unit um, on this PSDZ2 is what it is, and then it's got special firmware in it that's been modified and done um, just so that hand cyclers can use it. It makes it much easier because the power assists are all set up for strong legs and so we had to have this special software made by volunteers that were able to set it up so that weak arms work very well. So go ahead and take the brake off Jared. That's our parking brake. We'll take that off. Okay so here we are demonstrating the X shifter on this hand cycle and for me I use a neck shifter so all I have to do is just push on my neck button and it goes to a lower gear on the left side. We're all the way in low gear, right side. And Jared, you can kind of show them what I'm doing. Yep. And that's basically how the X shifter works. It definitely works well. There's also a shifter on the, on the thing here. Jared can show you where you shift it. Don't push the button, but just where the shifter is. It's just a little button you can push. You can put those buttons out by your pedals or however you want. So right there, you'll see a brake lever on the side of the bike. That's a little odd place for a brake lever, but that's just where we store it. So when a quad's riding this, you don't need those brake levers. Um, so we just store them right there. And eventually we're gonna have two so that both levers will work on the bike, plus the elbow brake works. Um, so that we can make it so that the more people that can ride this, the better. Um, that's the whole point is when you got a bike that's this nice and it's as power assist and electric shifting um, we won't we don't want to have it just exclusively for a quad because there's so many more people out there that want to ride it and so few quads that even know they can ride a bike like this so we're going to have it all set up so that pairs quads amputees anybody can ride the same bike so it's a, a very versatile um, setup here at nac so that whoever comes here to ride will be able to ride this bike um, that needs a hand cycle Okay, so here's some still photos that'll show you more detail of the brake, different angles. You might be able to see how it adjusts and how it works um, from these different angles. Um, you can see the display and the power assist there. And there's our parking brake. You can easily get to that. Um, there's the brake that you use if you have hands to squeeze. Um, there's our two calipers on the front. There's our splitter for the front where we use two levers and one brake. There's the splitter in the back where we use two brakes and one lever.